Drake? Now, Joe, don't get mad at me for posting this, bro. I just got to give the people the content. Now, Adam22 and WAC100 had some very interesting things to say about Joe Button and his girl. Let's see what they had to say. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. What is this? Now, WAC passes him a phone. That's why Adam says, what is this? Put this in the war chest in case he gets out of line, but apparently Joe Budden left his girl because he found out that back in the day she slept with Drake and one of the J Prince boys. She wasn't forthcoming with it, and he found out recently. If Joe Budden didn't break up with his girl, then your credibility is going to take a hit here. No, no, no. They just sent that, bro. Look, this is the first today. I heard of this. Look at, that. I, look at the date. Trust me, I love this narrative. The idea that Joe Budden could have had his relationship end over something like that. That's a, that's incredible. That's great. Uh, the fact that you said it here, and if something comes of that, crazy. That I said it? Well, I, it. I was just reading your you text. You read it. <clears throat> I wasn't going to read it. If that ends up being true, then we will officially have rocked and socked the Joe Budden podcast Reddit nation. Joe's my friend, but I know Joe <clears throat> falls in love, but it's, he he will not give a fuck even faster than he falls in love. I'm pretty sure he's been with that girl for like a couple years, right? I don't know. I don't, you know, I fuck with Joe. I don't be knowing really who he's with, but I know it's always a serious emotional thing. But one thing about bro, when it's over, it's over. Yo, this nigga Wack is crazy. <laughs> Wack, Wack will expose your whole life and say, you know what? I fuck with him, though. We cool. That's my boy. Now, you see Adam... He excited because y'all know Adam got a beef with the Joe Button podcast, too. Now, we got to do the thing real quick, so let's clear this up. So, first, I went to Joe's girlfriend's Instagram page, and she seems to still have photos of Joe on her page. Now, you know, that's the first thing that usually happens when people break up. They delete all the pictures on social media, but they seem... To still have pictures of each other on their profile pages, all right? Same thing with Joe. This is Joe's Instagram. He still got pictures of his girl on there, all right? And Joe is still following her on Instagram. By the way, if you ever just want to find the baddest bitches on Instagram, Joe Button is following them all. If you like thick girls, girls with fat asses, Joe got you covered, all right? But... Joe did not unfollow his girl, so I don't know if this is true or not. But I had to set the record straight for everybody. But let's just imagine a world where this is true, okay? Some people might say, oh, this is why Joe has been kind of getting at Drake lately. Remember, when the Kendrick shit happened, Joe was like, hell no, nah, this is not even about Drake. Drake not a rapper. He he doing cartoon raps. This is about J. Cole and Kendrick. He didn't even like, <laughs> he didn't even give Drake no credit as an MC at all. And some of y'all might say, well, that makes sense. Drake is a real hip hop fan. But then also I'm about to do a video. I'm probably going to do it tonight if I got time. But Joe was also talking about Drake and his relationship with Sexy Red. And he was claiming that Drake must be getting paid to be around Sexy Red. So Joe has kind of been doing a lot of Drake topics, all right? I'm going to do that video probably right now. I think I got time to do it. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Do you think this could be true or do you think it's cap? You think WAC 100 making up shit? Like the video, subscribe, let me know in the comments. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.